Okay guys, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an application using AppleScript. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to open Launchpad, and now we're going to search for Script Editor. Just open it, and click on New Document. Now here is where we're going to write our code. So, we're going to write our code here. I will be back in a second, guys. Okay guys, I'm back, and we're here in our document. Now if we paste this code, which... I will not probably put in the description, I probably won't, but I'll go over it. Now you're telling the application finder to activate, and then you're telling the application system events to press key code 49, which is spacebar, and then you're telling it to stop by saying end tell. So now we can go ahead and run this, and I didn't have anything click on that and then we'll go back to this and press on that no okay okay sorry um let's just go ahead oh i have that is that my universe no okay so we can just press command v a few times and see if maybe it'll do something you can run loops but um it's a little more advanced and we'll just run the script and yeah you saw it jitter it did it, it does it very fast but it does jitter I, I saw it jitter and it's in the video so yeah it does work it this simply just presses the space bars presses the space bars presses the space bar yeah a whole bunch of times so yeah that is how to automate the space bar and now we can just save that and then if you press command shift s that will create a new version and now we would just if you want to turn it into an application just press command s and then we save this to the desktop doesn't have to be the desktop but i chose desktop desktop and then we choose application and then we just press save and then we can just launch it and it will simply just press the spacebar and quit itself because it just does it very fast um yeah I can actually show you guys an overkill version of it that literally just I s just kind of spent a lot of time doing that so yeah and if you want to add an icon you can just press get info drag an icon over that and there you go you got your icon that is it guys thank you for watching I'm going ham, I don't think that you know this Cause there's so much baloney all over the focus